discovering guitar and I was just this awkward, like nerdy, fat kid, sucked at baseball, couldn't skate, like, you know, all my friends were doing all that cool stuff and I was just bad at all of it and somehow I got a guitar in my hands and everything changed like you know in a matter of a couple years and it just gave me something to immerse myself in that was really really important at that time it still is actually and I was the every cliche like played till my fingers bled you know my mom would find me in bed asleep with my guitar laying on top of me like it, all those things were true you know and it just like it saved my life so so many times <laughs> I was pretty aware of Jackson and, you know, the kind of instruments that were going on there, the kind of, you know, what, the cool things that were going on at Jackson pretty early just as a fan of Randy Rhodes and uh, later uh, of Megadeth. So to me, Jackson was always like pretty synonymous with serious players and a lot of the music I was already listening to. Much later, you know, when I was developing my own playing and, and you know, beginning my own career, you know, to, to, be, to get the opportunity to work with Jackson was just like, it was a pretty big deal for me because, you know, those seeds had already been planted so early before I was even playing guitar. To, to have the opportunity to, to develop my own instrument with the company that some of my heroes had done the same thing with was really, really special. I wanted to do something that was comfortable for me and I, and I thought it was a, a real opportunity to do something unique within the company. So I wouldn't just be another um, weapon-like instrument, you know, <laughs> within, within Jackson. It would be something unique and something that reflected like the kind of music I'm into um, and what my influences are, both, both musically and, you know, um, what I like out of an instrument. And, and, it, and it really came together. It took a long time. But it really came together very well. I really believe in these in these dominions. Like it, they're they're not for everyone, but I think they're one of the most versatile guitars out. And I think this is a guitar that you know I'm going to use tonight playing a pretty extreme heavy metal show. But I could play it with a country band or, or in a blues bar, or you know, there's a jazz player could use this, you know, um, very readily. It's it's a it's a really really diverse instrument. It's a little bit surreal to think that there are like kids now that were that same kid I was, you know, looking up to me the way I was looking up to the players I was listening to and inspired by. I always feel like that I'm just kind of a collection of my influences and just kind of smush it all into a ball and, and throw that back out. And just by virtue of the fact that my influences may be different than someone playing, you know, another guy in another band that makes me sound a little bit unique. I've really tried to fly the blues flag pretty hard. I'm a big fan of British blues and classic rock and that kind of stuff. So I've spent a lot of time figuring out how to weave that into our heavy metal context. So I'd like to think that hopefully I'm turning some of the younger players on to guys like Jimmy Page and guys like Peter Green and even modern guys like Warren Haynes and Luther Dickinson and guys like that. Maybe if I can hip someone to that and send them in a little bit different direction than just playing scales all day. That's cool, you know.